Well, we just got some big news from uh, Greg Hill over at iRacing. A little update for season three. That's coming, gosh, in a couple of weeks. Can't believe season three is just around the corner. And uh, we got some new news, a lot of new, uh, new stuff coming. I am very excited for it. Here is everything that Greg mentions in the iRacing development update. So he starts off essentially talking about the participation. Uh, very cool to see that wet sessions, 90, 91% of the non-wet sessions, people are still driving. A lot of people did the Sebring 12 hour. Um, they're gonna be working more on the GTP wet tires. So if you're a, uh, <laughs> if you're a GTP driver, I'm sure you're very happy about that update. Uh, stability as far as video and that kind of stuff is concerned. They're updating that, which is awesome. Uh, weather system kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. But what's new? First of all, we're getting two new bodies for the street stock. They're going to continue using the original body as well. You could buy the two new bodies. It looks like um, street stock is going to be included. Uh, important to deliver great value. So they're going to keep the original street stock as your free car. You could pay to have the two cars and they're bundled together, but it looks like an old maybe Thunderbird front end right there and the old Monte Carlo uh, front end, which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely cool looking cockpit there on the inside is very cool as well. I'm excited. I, I don't know if I'm going to buy these cars just because I really don't race street stocks, but man, I, I don't know. There's something about this one in particular that I just, I really like. Uh, they had mentioned with GT3s, there are going to be two new American based GT3 cars. I wonder what those two are, especially after they've been caught uh, taking pictures back at Daytona for the 24. Uh, it's likely going to be the Corvette and Mustang GT3s. Uh, they are also increasing the max car count from 12 to 13, which is really cool. So I'm wondering if that means finally the Ford GT3 will be put out to pasture. It's going to be a sad day, but I, I really do think that's going to happen. So we have some new tracks as well. Circuit de Navarra in Spain. Uh, don't really know much about this track, but here are some screenshots of the track. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of uh, elevation changing and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. Looks like that's gonna be a little hillside modeling the 3D curves. Very cool to see how these curves actually work also. Uh, the next one here, Navara British Superbike F4 Championship 24 hour series. And it's gonna be free, which is cool. I like how they have not super popular, not super well-known tracks for free. This way it gets a little more participation. Uh, DJ, EJ, DJ EJ did a fantastic video about race participation and tracks and all that kind of stuff. So uh, make sure you check out that video. It is fantastic. Uh, the next one here is uh, Stashin Ring. Don't know anything about that track, but it looks like a very interesting layout. Look at this bizarre omega shaped curve right there hard right long straight away this is going to be a lot of fun this is going to be challenging this one's probably going to be flat out and do a bit of a breaking double apex sort of deal into a stadium section yeah i think that's going to be a ton of fun to drive some more scanning data and all that sort of thing Just trying to look through. That one's going to be in Germany as well. Oh, it looks like they recorded a, uh, a bit with the Audi there in real life, I'm assuming. 
Um, this is going to be awesome. Oswego Speedway is going to be great. Both pavement and dirt configurations, which is pretty cool. Just looking through here. Uh, they said there's a chance they may only finish the pavement oval for dirt or for uh, season three, which is fine. That's all I'm going to use it for anyway. Uh, not really a huge dirt driver anyway, but look how wide and just awkwardly shaped this track is. This is going to be a ton of fun. I wonder if they're going to have the mini configuration there as well. Uh, does not quite say. So what is coming next for rain? Well, Porsche 992 Cup, MX-5, and the entire GT4 class with the LMP3. That is going to be awesome to see. No Mustangs, so production car challenge will not be in the wet. However, Mazdas in the wet, they're already sliding. So that's going to be absolutely horrifying to race in. GT4 and LMP3, so the sports car challenge is going to have some rain next year or next season, which is pretty cool. Uh, they worked a lot with NASCAR uh, when it comes to dynamics and all that kind of stuff. Standing starts, this is cool. Um, basically a project that'll give you warmer tires, warmer brakes, and all that kind of stuff, so you're not dying and everyone locking up into turn one on a standing start, which I appreciate. Uh, looks like they're going to be changing some stuff with the clutch to simulate a little bit better, which is cool. Uh, new user UI interface, um, which... You know, that it's going to be pretty cool. They do have a member's website, which let me see if I can pull that up. I'm not logged in. Okay, well, we'll take a look that, at that one later. <laughs> uh, I re uh, rendering and graphics. This is pretty cool. It's coming hashtag soon. But essentially, this is all saying that they're making their own graphics engine which is super cool. They're gonna use, you know, this way it can capture uh, modern GPUs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, new tech progress is underway, which is very, very cool. So it is taking a while, but it's gonna be great. More web design stuff as well. I like this update here for the single player with the AI season, you have the IndyCar season, official templates which is pretty cool uh, and all that kind of stuff super early to go but they are going to be getting a little bit more career mode that's not coming for 20 or for season three but they added that in some audio update as well i'm gonna have to check out this audio blog with rain because that audio is a big thing for me so that's pretty cool uh other stuff improving force feedback and all that kind of thing but uh some other stuff that's coming soon more likely than not uh for 20 or for season three but maybe season four season one for 2025 which is wild that we're talking about that already a couple teaser images here of spa going up uh oh rouge and ratty on there This one looking down from that same angle, very cool. Um, cool to see Zodder is being fully remastered. That's gonna be cool. That's a track that doesn't get a whole lot of participation. Mostly because it's, you know, a couple of chicanes tied together with a couple of straight lines, but definitely a fun track. Uh, they rescanned Sonoma a while back, and of course the next day the pavement came up in testing. Then the whole Denny Hamlin versus Marcus Smith fight. If you're in a NAS if you're a NASCAR fan, you definitely heard about that. Um, so they're going to be back there. That's probably going to be pushed out a little bit later. Dale Jr. also shared that we are getting the uh, Gen 4 car based off of 2003, which NRO3 back in iRacing, 
pretty cool uh intermediate body as well as the speedway super speedway body so we might actually be able to bump draft with these things um revitalizing dirt road not really something i care about but there is a very passionate community albeit small who's into that so hopefully we get some better stuff there um and they also said if they check if they see that they're photographing a car it's going to be coming i mean obviously we kind of knew that already but that is still pretty damn cool some new stuff in australia they did mention uh Puckaho, i think the track is a while back um so that should maybe be coming soon possibly uh some stuff in england as well and some new updates with the different tracks here very this honestly looks like a real life picture if you were to tell me oh yeah that's a picture of a great on a real racetrack i totally would have believed you that looks awesome another shot here of sonoma in the green god i wish we get your green sonoma that'd be awesome some more development shots of different tracks that i don't really know a whole lot about discount programs if you're new to iRacing they do discount some things uh depending on uh how much you already own how much you've bought how many you're buying all at once uh there's also a referral program to get you 10 bucks every time someone signs up using your referral stuff which is kind of cool um but yeah let me know what you're looking forward to let me know what you're excited about i uh, i'm very very looking forward to this is just a cool shot of the the fluid dynamics from the looks like the truck uh the nascar truck series man i'm looking forward to this these street stocks are going to be a lot of fun to see that's just that's cool and i love how it's already kind of you know not exactly straight a lot of dents and everything like that so that's gonna be cool really looking forward to oswego speedway uh the new spa update a couple of new tracks so definitely going to be a lot of fun let me know what you're excited for uh the most down in the comments below and we'll talk to you soon